yeah, I still go out. And it was quite scary because um, even to this day now, I bump into people. Um, when I was with my daughter's dad, would go and, you know, we lived in an area where people, where I used to live, which was a massive trigger for me. And I'd been clean for a couple of years by this stage. But um, even bumping into people and I wouldn't know what they'd do. So I'd always quite run. So it was quite scary going out. But I guess I had to because you can't be in a bubble for the rest of your life. Um, it was quite a vulnerable stage, but I think because I was with people that wanted me to change and were supportive of my change, um, they, yeah, I, there was no way I could be in danger. And my stepdad's not the most pleasant person to mess with, <laughs> so he um, he was like my bodyguard, I guess, as well. If I if I would go out with them, yeah. So I was really lucky to have that. I get social anxiety quite bad, um, which is hard, especially when you've <laughs> got a partner that's in. Uh, social person, <laughs> so um, yeah, I do, but not to the extent where I, when I was using, I think it's just um, the way, yeah, paranoia not so much. I think it's more anxiety, yeah, and I have noticed I get it more if I feel that the tension's focused on me.